Oh boy, we're back at the Gatewater Hotel. Hey pal, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Gumshoe, are you alright? Yeah, but I'm really embarrassed. I didn't think I would hit a telephone pole of all things. A telephone pole? Then it wasn't you flying into the front the front of a subway store? <laughs> you did it again, city boy. I felt like my dear old heart was gonna give out on me, but I and I ain't joking. Yeah, it was more exciting than the very last episode of the Steel Samurai. The thanks. Now look at here, Mr. Student Prosecutor. Don't you reckon you bullied Mr. Right too hard? If you don't start being a lot nicer to him, you just might kick it. Tonight even. Um, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Well, come on now. Everyone gather around. Y'all are gonna get your picture taken by a genuine professional photographer. Looks like Lotta bought herself a new camera. Well, pal, at least we can put this messy case behind us now. Come on, tonight's all about eating, so let's go chow down, pal. Amen to that, pal. Amen. You know, when you think about it, you were the one who saved the day, detective. Oh, me? You really think so? He's right. If it wasn't for the three items you took, I think this trial would have had a very different ending. Ah, well, you know, it's a... <laughs> huh? Wait. That's odd. When I ran off with the things from the killer's hideout, I was sure I took four things total, sir. What? Four? Yeah, I'm sure I put one of the items in my coat pocket. There was a fourth item? Aw, oh, come on, y'all, it's over. Well, who boy, I tell you, you really are something else. Between getting accused of murder and getting kidnapped, never a dull moment with, with you, huh? Haha, <laughs> you think so? Why does she look so happy about that? But being shut away for two whole days, weren't you scared? Yeah, it was really scary. I felt so hopeless. So to keep my mind off of things, I drew a picture. Sounds like you had it rough, gal. So where's this picture of yours? Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see Mystic Maya's picture. Hmm. You know, I don't know where it went. Aw, that's too bad. Well, well, it's all right. It wasn't anything important anyway. Ah. Or ah, sorry. I'm sure it's nice to finally see them both smiling again. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Hmm? What is it, Edgeworth? This thing is picking something up. Ah, oh, that's... That's Miss Von Karma's receiver. Oh, thanks to her, I had the most awful experience of my life, sir. I can't believe she stuck a tracking device on me. Uh, that's odd. Even though you're standing right here, the tracking device seems to be in a different location. Oh? It's probably busted or something, sir. Will? It doesn't matter. I'm afraid it's about time for me to excuse myself. I still have some work to do. Huh? But Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't even eaten anything yet. And you've eaten way too much, you glutton. I had fun tonight. Now if you excuse me... Wait. What? I just want to say... Thanks, Edgeworth. You really saved me out there. Hmm. If anyone should be saying thanks, it should be me, right? I feel like words alone aren't enough here. Maybe you guys should give yourself a nice bro hug. Yes, why not? Let's start your freaking bromance now. <laughs> Wonder if there's anything I can give him to express how I feel? Huh? What do I give him to express how I feel? The whip, maybe? Give him the whip? You can't save here. I think it's probably the whip. It wouldn't be anything else. It's either the attorney's badge or the whip. Shit. Now, of course, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna give him the whip. Fuck it. What's this? Thank you. It's all thanks to you two. You and her. You don't need to thank me. I was only doing my job. It looks like Mr. Edgeworth has left, Mr. Nick. Hey, Mystic Maya? Mm hmm, yes, Pearly. I guess you two can go back to being lovey-dovey, right? You and Mr. Nick, I mean. P -p Pearly? Would you cut that out already? You're embarrassing me. Um, anyway, so who's paying for this lovely dinner party? As if you need to ask. Everyone say thank you to Nick. Huh? 
Oh, yeah. I'm kind of at the point where I can't even buy instant noodles, pal. So I kind of already put your name on the bill. Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I got me a situation just like that myself. There's this camera shop in the hotel, see? And I just bought myself this good old beauty here. It'd be better anyhow. It better be anyhow for $3,000. Huh? 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 Actually, I reckon you bought it for me since it's on your tab and all. Huh? 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 Isn't this great, Mr. Nick? Yeah, Nick. <clears throat> Why do I suddenly feel like screaming? Aw, oh, you don't need to hold back now, you hear? Yeah, pal. Time to get it all out. This is going to be the first time I hear the real you. Come on, it's been a while since I heard you say it. I've been busy being a hostage and all. All right, then, if you say so. Objection! How do you do it? Uh, what the fuck? Huh? There we go, I hit the back button. Okay! Holy crap! After two years, I finally completed! Finally completed it! Alright, I knew you'd come through, I had to hide the letter. I really feel like I've been living on the edge lately. I mean, I've escaped dead three times now. Pretty cool, huh? I feel like a pro. So there's going to be little messages in between the credits. That's cool. Holy shit. I'm so happy that you can save Mystic Maya, Mr. Nick. And I'm so happy for the two of you. Speaking of, I think this hotel is a popular place for honeymooners. So I sort of made reservations for the two of you just in case. <laughs> the honeymooner suite it is. Let's go. Well, pal, looks like I'm back on the force again. Mr. Edwards had a long talk with the chief, and he got me reinstated for my sake. I heard he said things like, letting that one go is bad for all of society. I knew it. Crashing headlong into everything is the only way to live, pal. <laughs> nice ending music. Nice ending music. Oh, God, her. I am Maggie Bird and retiring this uniform as of today, sir. I'm going to be a waitress from now on. And bring smiles and joy to the people who come by the restaurant, sir. I hope to stop by sometime, Mr. Wright. Now we're going to go back and review all the characters from the game, whose voices I don't remember, so I guess this is going to be hit or miss. <laughs> hmm, yes. Are you here to visit a patient? Hmm, I'm Director Hearty. <laughs> Recently? Hmm, yes. That girl, you know. I haven't seen her around. Hmm, yes. But I remember. If I even laid so much as an eye on her, I'd go crack. Hmm, my grabber titty. It did not matter if I got whipped up, though. Hmm, yes. I love the titty grab. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, I don't remember his name. Well, it's time for us to begin our quest of the world. To let the world know we are serious, I plan to make a fabulous flight to Zimbabwe. Hey, Max, what do you think of Zimbabwe is like? You think their castle's made of cake and bunnies who can talk? I think if there are any talking bunnies, even they won't laugh at Moe's jokes. I don't remember if that was anywhere close to the voice I used for him, so I'm just making shit up. Oh no. I'm ready. I'm ready. There's no way these jokes are going to fall on deaf ears. I'm going to be more contemporary with my humor. Mo curls r r represent. <laughs> we got our new act all worked out. Prepare for Hallelujah Chorus. Say something, will ya? You're supposed to start this off. Get on with it. Punches him in the face. There you go. <laughs> What's this? Oh, drat, it's just an ordinary electric razor recharging on its thing. I can't believe this, really. How do they plan to make me do this? How long do they plan? Oh, it's Edgy Pooh's idea, so that means it must have been a deep hidden meaning. But, why do I get the feeling they wouldn't forget about me, would they? Ah, uh, it was never like this in the old days. Everyone thought the world of me. 
They used to call me Queen Wendy and treat me like royalty. Who hasn't heard about it is going to feel the pain in my heel. They're going to feel the burn. Speaking of burn, playing with fire is very dangerous because they're not their warehouses and they still have security and they burned down a scarce huge snake as a rat tat 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 Oh my goodness. I appreciate everything you, Mr. Edgeworth, you and Mr. Edgeworth did for me from the bottom of my heart. Oh, that's right. I received a letter from Miss Von Karma. She said that after I get out, I should feel free to consult her about anything at all. I'm really thankful to have met everyone. <laughs> and now I'm in fucking jail. Great. It has become difficult for me in this country as of late. As such, I will take a short leave of absence. If you would like to request my services, please be sure to visit my homepage. May we both be blessed with longevity. www.dekilla.com Yes. Very good. Wait a minute, it's not over. What's going to happen now? Oh my god, it's not over. They're at International Departures Gate 12. They're at a freaking airport. Where are you going, Francisco? Huh? How did you know I was here? With this. That's... I heard you were planting things on a certain person. Things like tracking devices in his coat, for example. Hmm. That's just like you. I only planted it there because he was always wearing it. This filthy drab coat of his. I don't know how it ended up in my luggage. But it's going to the trash, I promise you that. Oh, that's right. Speaking of that man, he told me something very interesting. When I ran off with the things from the killer's hideout, I was sure I took four things total, sir. Four items? Seems he put the last one in his coat pocket. He put it in here? It doesn't matter anymore. The case is already over. What are you going to do now? That's none of your business. Are you running away? Shut up! You don't understand a thing. You can't possibly understand what it means to be Manfred von Karma's daughter. Francisca? So many expectations from everyone around me. Expectations I must fulfill. It's expected to win. I'm expected to win no matter what. And failure? Such a thing is not an option for me. My father was a genius. There's no doubt about that. But, but me, I'm no genius. I've always known that. But I, I had to be one. I had to. You may not be a genius like your father, but you are a prosecutor. You have been always will be. No, I'm not. Not anymore. I've even thrown my whip away. Speaking of that, Brad gave me this to hold on to. Right. You knew something like this would happen, didn't you? I'm going to say this again. We prosecutors do not fight for personal honor or pride. I hope you'll think deeply about what you should be striking down with that whip. You haven't changed a bit. You've always, you've always left me alone and walked on ahead without me. Miles Edgeworth, I've always hated you. And then, finally, my chance to take revenge on you arrived. If I could win against that man, I could make Phoenix Wright bow down in defeat. Then this girl you left behind would have risen higher than you. That was supposed to be my revenge. I see. You know, I can't do it. I can't change who I am. I can't throw away everything I've been until today. I believe you can. Just like how Adrian Andrews did. Adrian Andrews? You were going to use her during the trial, right? But you... You were dependent on your father by using his tactics, isn't that right? Humph! Today you chased after me after I had left you behind all these years. 
And that's why we're standing here now, side by side. Hmm. But I have no intention of stopping. If you say you're going to quit, you'll walk down the prosecutor's path. Then, this is where we part ways, Francisco Von Kahn. I, I, I am Francisca von Karma. Don't think I'm going to walk in your shadow forever. Our battle begins now. So you'd better prepare yourself, Miles Edgeworth. And then they fucked. On the plane, in the restroom. <laughs> they joined the Mile High Club. Phoenix Wright. One day, someday. I'm sure we'll meet again in battle. Until then, this last piece of evidence that never made it to you. I'll take good care of this fourth piece. So I can give it to you when at last we meet again. Boom! Plane explodes. Pfft. Oh! Oh, they drew Phoenix's face on the shell. All right. That is it. After two years, two years, ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All, Justice Got Served, on a silver platter, a la carte, deluxe, with cherries on top. That's right. So, holy shit. I want to especially thank anyone who waited two freaking years for me to get back to this game and finally beat it. I apologize for the delay, but it was something I needed to do. And now I can definitely say that it was worth it to come back. And now I'm probably going to take another two-year delay before I play another Phoenix Wright game. Because that case was too fucking long. Holy shit. Seriously. I mean, it was fun, but holy fucking shit could it have been any longer. <laughs> holy Christ. Oh, okay. So, thank you very much. Whether you join me on Twitch TV or YouTube for this final case, thank you very much. If you watched the original case, obviously I'm going to say if you didn't, if you're a person who only watched case four, because I'm doing it, you know, in 2014, you should definitely go back and take the time to watch the previous parts because probably <laughs> they're probably just as long combined as three separate cases as this one case was. Pretty nuts, right? You would definitely enjoy it. So that is it for Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. I thank you very much for tuning in again whether it was back then or now if this is the culmination or the fruition um a lot of people have been asking me during the course of this playthrough would i continue to play phoenix Wright games the answer is very simple it's a yes but it's not going to be again something that i do in a timely manner i've now done this case my voice is exhausted i obviously need to go back to normal playthroughs for a while is Trials and Tribulations is something that I'll check out in the future. Well, I already own it. It would be stupid for me to never play it when I own the game. It's on my Wii U right now. So, yes, I will eventually do it. No guarantees as to when I will, because I don't want to promise the world to you guys and have another two-year delay. But it is definitely something that I will possibly be checking out in the future uh, as a downtime game. So, thanks everyone for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for putting up with the two-year delay. I really needed it. That last case, Case 3, had exhausted me so much. I definitely needed it. I came back. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully some of the people who, you know, used to be viewers of mine who haven't been around for a while will eventually get wind that I did come back to this game and beat it. Thanks, everyone. And uh, this is me signing off from Phoenix right for now. But hopefully not for good. Peace.